Okay, so in this video we are going to start masking this character where the fur is going to be. Uh, fiber mesh grows basically as we went through the other video uh, where you paint your mask. So before we begin, I um, I earlier started off by just doing a rough sketch of <clears throat> how I want the fur to look when it's finished, just very rough. And what's important here is basically to just decide where there shouldn't be any fur, like around the feet, the soles of his feet, and the, the hands and lips, you know, inside of, of his ears, <clears throat> and around the eyes. So basically, there's going to be no fur there. And it's important to decide this before we hit the accept button in um, in the fiber mesh settings. Because after you hit accept, you can't change uh, where the fur is going to grow from. <clears throat> so, we can start off by hiding the poly paint. It's just this little brush icon over here. Just hide that. Light. And uh, also, I have just kind of a noise going on in the mesh. So I go down to surface, just temporarily deactivate that. And um, <clears throat> I wanted to deactivate poly painting just for a second, just to, so we can see the mask a lot better. Um, so I just want to show you something real quick here. It's, um, it's the blur function. Um, basically, when you have a mask, you can blur it by control clicking the area where the mask is painted, like this. Okay, and the thing is, how the amount of blur is dependent on which subdivision you're in. So, uh, if you go down to geometry here, we're on subdivision four. So, <clears throat> if you go up and you paint your mask and blur it, you won't have the same amount of blur. You can like control click um, more than once to get a, but usually you get a better results by going down a couple of subdivisions, you know, painting the mask and blur it there. And also there is a <clears throat> thing you can change in preferences here. You go down to blur mask, um, sorry, blast mask blur strength. You can crank that up and just, you know, bloop. But 24 is kind of, it's usually easier just to uh, control that, which, you know, depending on which subdivision level, level you're on. You can also just paint your mask in a higher subdivision and then go down blur it there, go up again, you know. Okay, but let's get started here. First off, I just want to, there wasn't going to be any fur on the hands and on the soles of the feet. So I'm just gonna go, since we made <clears throat> polygroups, we can just hide these by holding down Control Shift, clicking that mesh, invert, click again, you know, on the parts that we don't want. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then I'm just going to flood this with the mask. And I do that by just, you know, control clicking outside of the geometry. Then it's flooded. And then I'm going to go down to the feet. And um, <clears throat> I didn't want to flood these because, you know, they're. There's some areas between the toes that kind of hard to get to, so I'm just going to do it like that. And now we can just use our mask lasso tool. See, like that, something. Mm. Just going to change back to mask pen, holding down control, you can change this. Uh, 
sometimes it's easier, <clears throat> easier like now we have the teeth sort of blocking the uh, body mesh so I'm just gonna solo out everything and also I have set this as a shortcut actually F3 it's quite handy so press ctrl alt click solo press F3 there we go Now we're going to uh, mask off the inside of the ears and uh, that's one thing uh, we have to be careful not to sort of paint through. Uh, they are so thin so we need to activate the back facing mask. I have made a <clears throat> custom UE thing for that but I'm just going to show you the real place in the UI where it is. So you go to brush down to back face mask. You have to press control to activate mask pen and then you press back face mask. Also, if you want to um, <clears throat> access the UI quite fast, <clears throat> there's a um, quick way of doing that, sort of just holding down alt and pressing like brush and then you get the brush settings here. You can do, you know, rendering it's uh it's really handy material yeah nice okay now we can just mask off this by holding down control alt and paint away i'm just gonna fix that oh got a bit of intersection there <laughs> intersection there no worries And then we, yeah, you could see I blurred it there, just control clicking the mask. And, um, yeah, I like it. Just going to make sure there's no. Uh, just want to make sure I get some fur around the, um, above the lips and below the nose. Okay, that concludes our, um, you know, masking off the body thing.